Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's like seven o'clock. I don't know that I've ever started a vlog this late, but I just got Stella out of the bath and put her to bed. I'm chugging along on this massive water bottle. I thought I was ordering a half gallon jug and then this monster came in the mail. I am trying to drink a lot more water in the day, so I wanted to get a big water bottle, but I wasn't exactly thinking this big. Shane and Lucy aren't home right now. They're out at his mom's camper getting a couple things done for her. And if you're new here, my in-laws live three hours away. So his parents actually got a camper at a campsite that's like 15 minutes away from us. So usually six months out of the year, they're here on the weekends. Um, but with everything going on, they haven't been able to be here, obviously. And our governor still hasn't opened campgrounds. I'm over here petting. Boone's belly if you're wondering what I'm doing with my hand. Hi, buddy. Since Shane's parents haven't been able to be out there, um, Shane went out there with Lucy to check on it and his mom got a mattress delivered to our house. So he needed to take that out there. And I'm hopeful that our governor will open campsites soon. Um, I'm trying so hard to stay positive with this COVID situation and beyond grateful that my family is healthy and we are still able to make a living while all this is going on. It's really hard to not know anything about the future. I'll be able to plan for basically anything. I have to send in Lucy's registration papers for preschool. Um, like now, I should have sent them in a week ago. I'm having the hardest time figuring out what to do. Lucy goes to a private preschool, but she only went a couple months in the spring and we didn't get our money back and we're not going to get our money back so um i'm just having a hard time figuring out what to do because preschool isn't like grade school junior high high school like they don't have any online learning i think that i'm just going to enroll her anyway and stay optimistic that our governor is going to let them go back to school but i just have no idea what's going on so yeah the uncertainty is what i'm dealing with right now and it's hard originally supposed to peak here in illinois in the middle of april and then our governor pushed it back to the middle of May, which means we should be peaking right now. And then yesterday, he put out a statement saying that he doesn't think we'll peak till the middle of June. I'm like, ah. so many states are opening back up. I see people on my Instagram left and right, like going out to dinner, going to TJ Maxx, and I was like, I cannot relate. But it's okay, eating in a restaurant is the least of my concerns right now. I just want people healthy and I want my daughter to go back to school. My little ramble there, check this out. Bam! Okay, it wasn't as cool that time. I need to hurry up and finish this or I will be peeing all night long. Okay, that was such a long ramble. Goodbye. I have always loved these shelves, but I really, really love them now. I've been collecting plants and I'm having so much fun. Um, and then I also have my Mother's Day flowers. I don't know, the record player, the plants. I'm just loving the vibe. It's gonna be a little bit of a rambly vlog, but I wanted to show you something that I got in the mail that I'm really really excited about. But you know that TikTok where they say, I'm not gonna do it, girl, and then they say, I did it. That's me. If you guys don't know what Young Living is, I'm surprised. But it's a company of essential oils and tons of home products, like everything you could ever imagine. I have been into essential oils forever. I've been diffusing for probably, I don't know, six or seven years. Used a bunch of Young Living's oils before. I've just ordered them from friends, but now I've decided to finally take the plunge. But yeah, my friend Tara finally convinced me to do it. Tara Henderson, I know you guys all know her. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So this is, what's the name of this? Desert Mist Diffuser. I almost called it the Dessert Mist. That's not it. It's a cute little minimal diffuser. I don't know. Bunch of oils. I already took this one out to sniff it. It's over there. Hold on. There's more. Um, some other samples and travel size things. I have heard everyone and their mother ranting and raving about the Thieves Cleaner, which is honestly why I ordered this whole thing. Thieves line of like laundry detergent, things like that. I've heard great things and I'm excited about it. So it comes with a little Thieves spray, a little Thieves hand sanitizer. We all need that right now. Let me tell you, I am not going to act like I'm a pro when it comes to this stuff at all. I decided that I would bring you guys along throughout the journey on to lower toxic living. My hands still covered in self-tanner days later. So I'm going to read through this a little bit and learn because I'm a little clueless. Okay, I 
put stress away and lavender in here and it smells divine 10 out of 10 recommend I know that it's probably so rookie of me but it smells really good and I am trying to stretch out the cord because it's all wrinkly you know from being up in a twisty tie so that's why this situation is happening one thing that I wanted to add to that clip ever try to sell you guys something that I don't love um, just to make a profit I promise that's just not who I am. That is not my character at all. So me sharing that, I promise I'm not gonna shove it down your throat. I will occasionally share what I'm trying, but I will never force you guys to listen to me talk for a very long time about essential oils. I promise I won't do that to you. So if you're interested in checking out that starter kit, I will leave the link down below. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try it. I've heard really good things and I just love essential oils. So why the heck not? I filmed those clips while my table looks like this. There are doggy footprints where I need to mop and baby wipes everywhere that Stella decided to take out of the package. Oh, and Lucy's shirt. I am going to pick up the living room a little bit. It's really not messy in here. We spent most of the day outside. However, I am gonna watch Mad Men. Um, Shane and I have been watching it together. He got mad at me because I got like two episodes ahead. So he had to catch up and I vowed that I would not watch it without him anymore. And I was gonna stick to that until we got on last night and it said available till June 10th. So now I have a month to watch this whole show. I'm only on the third season. I have a long way to go and I refuse for it to go away before I finish it. So sorry, babe, I have to do it. I have to. <laughs> this is the craziest thing that in the 60s, I don't even know how long it went on but the dad just sits and waits outside while the mom has a baby. I cannot imagine. It's like 8.45 and Shane still isn't home, so Lucy gets to stay up past her bedtime tonight. Usually she goes to bed like around 7.30. Shane's off work tomorrow and I have my grandma's funeral. So if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you saw that my grandma passed away last week and it put me in a funk and that's why I didn't vlog at all last week. Just sad that we weren't able to have a proper funeral or see her before she passed away. Um, but I am doing better. I am very grateful that I am able to go to her funeral. Um, only 10 people are allowed at funerals right now. So I'm going with my mom and dad and um, two of my sisters and then my dad's brother and his family are going. So Shane's off work tomorrow so he can stay home with the girls while I go to the funeral. And it's just crazy that I'm going to my grandma's funeral like, without my family. Well, I mean, I'm going with my family, but not my new family that I created myself. That was a weird way to say that. Funeral is at 9 a.m. tomorrow and I need to leave the house at 7.30. So I don't want to stay up too late tonight because I'm going to have to get up early and get ready. Um, because I definitely am not on the waking up early grind right now. I've just been waking up like 10 minutes before my kids. <laughs> I need to work on that. Way past your bedtime, huh? Did you have fun with daddy? You want your puppy? What did you do with daddy? You got Taco Bell. Did you play at the camper? That's so fun. It's way past your bedtime. What time is it? 9.15. It's past mommy's bedtime. Shane, also, people are very impressed with your vlogging skills. They kept calling you a natural. <laughs> Little do they know that you watch more YouTube than I do. Way more. <laughs> you think daddy should take more videos by himself? Yeah. He did such a good job. I'm just gonna end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.